So, now projectile motion is the So, projectile motion is the when an object is thrown with some initial velocity. One initial velocity is the object is thrown with it will use that velocity and it will take a path. And the mari motion na nama projectile motion so litrukum. So projectile motion la yenna types of velocity is rukku. Yepdi move agadu horizontal avu move agu. Vertical avu move agu. So two types of projectile motion rukku. One when the object moves in the horizontal path. Its velocity remains to be the same. If the velocity is the same, the object is the horizontal path. The horizontal path is the same as the sail. The sail is the same as the move. The sail is the same as the sail. So, the sail is the same as the sail. So, the sail is the same as the sail. So, the same as the object. So, projectile motion, the horizontal velocity always remains to be the same. And the vertical velocity, horizontal velocity is the same as the vertical velocity. Vertical velocity is the same as the sail. Since the object is moving towards the acceleration due to gravity. So, in this case, there are two projectile motion. Two are one horizontal velocity. That is, horizontal velocity is the same as the same as the same. Vertical velocity is the same as the same as the same. This is the constant. This is the same as the same as the same as the same as the same. But how do you say that? If you go to the side of the side, if you go to the side of the side, if you go to the side of the side, then the side of the side will be the same as the side of the side. So, if you go to the side of the side, the side of the side will be the same as the side of the side. முடுக்கம் செயல் படாம் இருக்கும் கிடைதிய செயல் முடுக்கம் செயல் படாததான் பொருளின் கிடைதிய செய் வேகம் மாராத இருக்கும் ஆனா வெட்டிகள் வலாசினாகும் ஒரு ஒரு பாய்ண்ட் ஒரு செக்கின்டுக்கு மாரிட்டே இருக்கும் வெட்டிகள் வலாசிடி goes on changes but the horizontal velocity remains to be the same now another type of projectile motion we are going to see first one ஒரு object வந்து ஒரு हाइट लेंदे तो ये पोटा इप्परी मुंह आई इप्परी कीला बड़ो अदौं प्रोजेक्टेल मोशन ना आना ग्राउंड लेंदे वो राम जेट कीला नी इप्परी तो ये पोटा ना इट विल गो ऑन फॉल लाइक दिस दिस इज़ आल्सो ए वेरी गुड एग्जांपल फॉर प्रोजेक्टेल मोशन नाउ यहाँ फ्रॉम द पॉइंट ओ ग्राउंड लेंदे इधर दाउन डे ग्र one point length, one object when I throw like this. So, throw up on another initial velocity. Let that velocity be u here. So, from the point O, the object takes this velocity and it moves like this. And when it reaches a point A, then a height maximum. So, if you reach the maximum height, then the maximum height will be 0. The maximum height will be 0. The velocity will be 0. And again, it moves towards the ground. When it moves like this, for each second, its velocity goes on changes, that is increases since it is moving towards the acceleration due to gravity. So, on the Puvirp, Puvirp is the same as the velocity of the second velocity. Horizontal is the same as the velocity of the second velocity. Now, this is your motion of a projectile thrown horizontally, an oblique projection. Ground length or certain angle and another or object throw up on number the we are going to find out how will be the path of the projectile its resultant velocity and time of flight what is the time taken to reach its maximum height and the range of the projectile motion one by one we are going to see first one path of the projectile path of the projectile into the area thin path in the area thin path as we have seen already this horizontal velocity கிடைத் திசையில் திசைவேகம் U X நடுக்குறோம். அதால் இந்த velocity U வைத்து ஒரு velocity வைத்து தூக்கிப் போடுவும் நீ இந்த object இந்த U வந்த I'm going to resolve into two components. One is the horizontal component U cos theta and the other one is the vertical component U sin theta. So இந்த velocity ரண்டாக ரத்தாக்கப் பலின்டும் one is the horizontal velocity U cos theta and the vertical velocity U sin theta. இந்த point seek வரும் போது so அதன்னை பாதையில வந்து during its path I can take any points so I am taking three points one is C, A, D C என்ற point reach பண்ணதுமே velocity எப்படி act பண்ணது in this direction that also I am going to resolve into two one horizontal U X and the vertical is U2 U3 into the vertical U4 into the vertical U X எப்பிமே constant so horizontal velocity கிடைத் திசையில் திசை வேகம் மாராது இருக்கும் அதா u x equal to u cos theta vertical velocity is it goes on changes since when it moves towards the acceleration due to gravity so that vertical velocity we are taking at u1 u2 u3 and u4 but in the u3 now at the point a layer it becomes zero that is when object reaches a maximum height maximum height போகும் போது குடுக்கிறு எல்லாம் velocity use பணிட்டும் இங்கு வரும்போது இன்னாக velocity zero வாய்டும் அதுக்கப் பிரம் போகு போக increase ஆகும் 
to find out this we will take the horizontal distance is equal to horizontal velocity into let t1 be the time taken here what is the horizontal velocity here i am taking the horizontal distance as x and vertical distance of y in eduthukalam horizontal velocity is ux let t1 be the time taken now from this i will calculate what is t1 t1 is equal to x by ux what is ux here u cos theta and the horizontal distance da nam enna eduthirukom u cos theta so time taken t1 kandupidichom t1 is equal to x by u cos theta yeah. what is our work now adu vertically avlo display sa irukku i o to c move aagum adu vertically move aachalliya appa vertical distance we want to calculate for that i will take the equation of motion s equal to ut plus r at square s is equal to ut plus half at square in the equation of motion lenda adala ek inda saman part lenda nam enna calculate panna porom o to c reach aaradukana path evlo distance move a irukku nu calculate panna porom in the distance s da vertical distance epovume y en edupom here u is your initial velocity and the initial velocity enna edukalam you let it be u1 what is u1 here u1 da inga enna eduthirukka u sin theta So first, tell me, go. U under the angle U one. T under the inner angle time taken. T under the angle calculate. Pani rukami. So angle T one. Then plus half. What is this? A acceleration due to gravity. Acceleration due to gravity. How do you act? Pani ipe me. It will be always acting vertically downwards. But now object every two ke pora. It is moving like this. See here. How do you move? Go to see. How do you move? But acceleration due to gravity will be acting downwards. In the object, if we move it, na, it is moving in the direction of acceleration due to gravity. Apa y when the past you need to claw. I can take at this point a equal to plus g. But now this object it is moving from O to C. O to C move out na, if we move out there, it is moving in a direction opposite to the direction of acceleration due to gravity. In acceleration due to gravity, if we kill no kill na, singut na kill no kill na act pano. मैन G again T1 square. T1 square na na x square by u square cos square theta. X square by u square cos square theta. ये बात तू करना है अलग लामा. और एक sin theta by cos theta. U U cancel है ना. Sin theta by cos theta is tan theta. So I can write this as x tan theta minus G x square by two. U square cos square theta. अलग लामा. So in this equation, see ya. X and the thing na variable. But this tan theta. So theta is something with the angle through which with which the object is thrown. अब इन the tan theta अंदर तो मारा था. But X and the thing na horizontal distance. अत change आई तो एक बोलिया. So this X is the variable. Tan theta constant. अब ये रखो. माँ ये आ. G and the acceleration due to gravity. U and the thing na initial velocity. Initial velocity in that direction, we already x na u x. It must be the same. Cos theta, that change ha gal. So all those constant things, I am going to group it one. So this I can write this as a x. The p all that la in the equation in the second part, I in the bagel na all that la. I will take this a tan theta as a that is constant one variable update which ta minus b x square b into the one day g by two u square cos square theta. So this constant value I'm taking it as b. Constant अलग group पर इट्टे b नली दे रखा. Variable नहीं रखे मिडी नहीं रखे. X square अब ये ले रखो. So now if you look at this equation, this represents the equation of a parabola. 
this equation represents the equation of a parabola. Now I can say the path traveled by the projectile is a parabolic path. So it is like this. Saman para paak mo the like this. One parabola yatte. Equation mari irka. One parabola yatte. Saman para mari kundan drukko. So now I can say the path traveled by the projectile is a parabolic path. So y equal to x tan theta plus g x square two u square cos square theta.